Hi everyone, welcome to Thirsty Thirsty. It is Bargain Beer Review time once again, but before we get cracking on the beer, just something for you to ponder over. What happened to the lost city of El Dorado? And why the hell did the BBC cancel the TV show El Dorado? Because for me, for one, I actually quite liked it. Anyway, up today we have from the Green King in Bury St Edmunds in the UK, it's that IPA Gold. Now this tips the scales at 4.1% ABV. Um, this cost me £1.25 English pence from supermarket. Tesco, now this is on the back, it's saying it is a golden ale, so a golden pale ale type thing. Traditional Green King crown. Let's get it popped and poured and see what she's like. Got it out of the fridge about 5-10 minutes ago. A little bit of a hiss, a little bit of can of smoke as well. We've got our infamous splodge nucleated glass. Let's see what she's like. Almost pouring in the glass, a bit of a, a bit like a shandy colour to be honest. There's the artwork. To be honest, they're all pretty much of the lightest at the moment, the Green King labels. They just seem to be different colours, but same sort of artwork. Right, yeah, it's quite a, it's almost like a lager esque colour that is to be honest. Um it's a bit of a straw colour, one and probably one and a half finger head, slightly dissipating, medium to tight of slightly off white uh, colour. Let's go in for let's go for a sniff. See what we got. Hmm. Bit not a great deal there. Maybe a small bit of like tropical tropical fruits, maybe got pineapple mangoey, but very, very faint. Nothing that's you know, knocks your head off, which a little bit disappointing because on the back it says this is made with, please excuse my pronunciation, um, Savinsky Golding Soft. Now I know they can be quite oomphy in as much that um, you know, if you are a home brewer out there, um, very, very good mango tropical type flavours, pineapple, pineapple you know, something you know, can get really, really good pungent. Uh, aroma, taste on your beer etc, but if there's any in there it's it's the proverbial thimble for not really getting much else, look at that head, that head's slightly dissipated already, let's just see if that's no, getting nothing else, maybe a bit of a bit of biscuit mould but again very very faint not saying it's, it's odourless but not much there Right, go for a taste. Cheers, everyone. Carbonation wise, not much. This this reminds me pretty much of a lager that's been less. You know, if you're at a party and you get yourself a pint of lager from somewhere. Um, and if you leave it on the table and go mingling, and then you think, oh Christ, where's my drink? And an hour later you go back to me and go, oh yeah, that's my pint. And you go for the taste. It's it's almost like that. It's, it's just nothing about it. Um, get a bit of like citrus off it at the moment, on the, on the taste. No real lacing there. Very much on the lager side to me than a golden ale, pale ale stroke type of beer. Not much carbonation. Disappointed because the hop that was used has got fantastic potential to really give it some oomph. But unfortunately in that, as I said, there's just not enough hops in there, I don't believe anyway. I'm not saying I'm a massive hop head, but for that style of beer it needs it needs something and, and unfortunately that hasn't got it. Uh, so one pound twenty-five English pence. Tesco, four point one percent ABV. Green King IPA Gold. Would I buy it again? No, I wouldn't. But I recommend you buy it. I think if it, if you do see it for one pound twenty-five, maybe worth buying one to say that you've tried it, and then you can review your notes against my notes and go from there. Um, I don't think I'd buy it again to be honest. Thirty thirty score out of ten for me. That is a well. It's a good colour, disappointed at the head retention, disappointed at the carbonation, 
disappointed with the hoppage. I'm really sorry, Green King. I just think that that's a uh, could have done an awful lot better on that. Um, three point for that, half of that. Three, three and a half out of ten. I'm afraid from me. Sorry, everyone. Sometimes on Thursday, Thursday, bargain beer, we get a great one. Sometimes we get a not so great one. Thanks for watching, everyone, and we'll see you again real soon right here. YouTube, Thursday, Thursday, and now Twitter, of course. Be seeing you.